Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had a little bit of time today. I mean, I always have a little bit of time, but I'm not recording when I do have a little bit of time. But anyway, I had a little bit of time because I feel like I'm about to go rambling off. And I was like, let me make this video because y'all know I'm supposed to be uploading every day and I'm I'm trying, I'm, I'm doing the best. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can because I'm not used to this. I'm used to just sitting down and setting up and doing, you know, doing my thing. But anyway, so I was like, since I'm waiting on my daughter to get out of school, um, I was like, let me just make this video real quick for y'all. You know what I'm talking about, babe? Yeah. Uh, now it's time for me. To Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and the growth. Thank you guys. We're on the road to 2K. We were on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We almost at 1,500. So if you haven't subscribed already and you've been watching my content, why haven't you subscribed? You need to subscribe. Subscribe. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Uh, help your sister out. Let me grow. I'm trying to grow. We're trying to get things. I'm trying to grow, y'all. I'm going to bring it closer because my arm's starting to hurt. But anyway, so you clicked on a video because I'm going to tell y'all this story that I, I've been thinking about telling y'all this story for a few, few, few weeks, maybe not even a few weeks, maybe a couple of months when I started telling y'all stories about like my boyfriend problems when, uh, when I was younger or whatever. So I was like, let me tell y'all this story about the time where I had to fight a girl in the car because he decides he wants to ditch me to get hit from this girl. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. So I don't know what I'm gonna title the story. I gotta figure, figure something out. But that bait, the gist of it is that he was trying to get head, and he was trying to ditch me so that he could go with this girl to go do it or whatever. So I'm gonna tell y'all the story. So if you haven't already gotten your snack, got your drink, got your herbal essence, y'all know how we do. Get it all and then stay tuned because we about to tell. You know, I'm about to get into the story. Um, yeah. Two shots of vodka. Okay, guys. So, this is when I was a teenager. I think I probably was like 17 or 18. I wasn't 19. I know for sure I wasn't 19. I was probably about 17. Probably 18. Probably 18. Yeah, I was like 18. Yeah, because I was 17. I was 18. I'm going I'm to edit that part out. I was 18 years old when this had happened. So this was a long time ago. Long time ago. So this was the boyfriend that I had for a long time. Um, and he the one who put me through the most hell. <laughs> so we, was, we used to work together. And I, I've told y'all this in the past. This is, a, this is a, somebody I used to work with because I always have... I, normally all my relationships do to me working with these people, these males. So this guy, I worked with him um, and we had a lot of problems. He used to cheat on me a lot. He used to cheat on me a whole lot in, yeah, in the beginning, man, he was cheating on me a lot. He used to come to work with hickeys and shit or whatever. He used to dog me like that and People would tell me that he was cheating on me or doing stuff to me. Like they would tell me like, hey, he got this girl over here. He got this girl over here. They used to tell me like, put me up on what he was doing or whatever. And I would confront him because I'm not the type of person to let things fester. Sit. I jump on it as soon as I find out. But anyway, let's get into what happened this particular day. Um, he normally would take me home because I used to always drive him home. But when he got his car he started taking me home so i didn't drive to work often i would drive to work every once in a while but so this day i didn't drive to work and if i didn't drive or he didn't take me home my best friend that worked there with me she used to take me home or his best friend would take me home but this day he worked so i already knew he was gonna take me home it was no need for me to have to like confirm he was there he was working. I knew he was going to take me home. So I go see him like on my lunch break and I tell him, Hey, you taking me home? Like I just said, Hey, you taking me home? And he just was like, no, I ain't taking you home. I said, why? 
And he was like, because I'm taking somebody else home. And I'm like, okay, normally both of us would do this. We would always take people home that work with us because a lot of people that work with us didn't have vehicles. So sometimes I would have like five people in my car, including him. So it'd be five of us, like three in the back and him in the front. And I take everybody home and they could live far. They could have lived on the north side and I was driving all the way to the north to take them home. Like it did not matter because I was driving. Y'all know, I I mean, clearly I got a CDL, so I be driving. <laughs> I was doing it at a young age anyway. He was just like, no, I'm going to take, I'm going to take them home without you. And I'm like, why though? Like, why would you take them home without me knowing that I need a ride? And I'm like, you're my ride. He was like, ask your friend to take you home. Like, just like, like brush me the fuck off. Like, uh, no. So I'm like, no, I, I'm like, no, you're going to take me home. This when I was in a toxic phase. I'm not like that no more. I don't know. Like, I'm not about to be, let me see if I can say it without being like, hypocritical i'm i'm if if you're my boyfriend we gonna argue if necessary but i'm not an argumentative person i'm not gonna start shit with you but i will finish it if you started with me period period um if that makes sense so i'm not gonna go looking for shit to fight with you that's what i'm saying so i i was like i'm not gonna walk away and just be like, okay, he ain't taking me home. And just be like, that's that's just, no. I told him, you are taking me home. And I'll be out here like I normally do. So, he normally had to walk around the store and make sure everything clicked cool or whatever clear. Because he worked in loss prevention. So, he had to make sure like the store was clear. Everything was good before everybody like had to be out of store. There wasn't no customers still in the store. He had to make sure everything. But I was a stalker. So, I... When it was time to go, if I was done with all my shit, which I normally be done with everything, I'm ready to go. I'm standing at the clock trying to get the fuck out of there at 11 o'clock. So 11 o'clock hit and we all, the people that normally stand by the clock, we all by the clock, we all clocking out. We can walk out the door and I'm standing on the wall and my best friend standing next to me and we just talking, whatever, whatever. Because she won't leave until I'm leaving. She don't never leave. Like she leave once she know I'm leaving. That's excuse me what she do she watched the channel I, I know she probably don't i wonder if you remember this because if you remember tell me sis if you remember you be texting me when you be watching my stuff but anyway okay so this day the the we walk out or whatever and i see him and he opens the door but he not leaving yet he got he can't leave yet so he not leaving so he opens the door outside and he see all of us out there like it's a bunch of us like 15 people out there because it's all the people that work in the bag that's out there. Not really. The cashiers wasn't out there just yet. But anyway, this girl that he was waiting on, she was a cashier. She wasn't out there yet. See, I didn't know this yet. So when I came, when he came out and opened the door, he jumped up and act like he saw a ghost. Like, what you doing? Like, why are you still here? That's what he asked me. Why are you still here? And I said, because I'm waiting on you. You going to take me home. He's like, I'm not taking you home. So we get to arguing out there. And I'm like... Why are you not taking me home? And I had a really bad mouth. I mean, my mouth is kind of bad still, but it was real bad when I was young. I used to, all, every word that flew out of my mouth was a fucking cuss word. See, I just cuss right now, but this is just an example. Like everything. I had no chill when I was, a, when I was younger. I had no chill. I used to cuss like a, a sailor, man. So I'm cussing at him and I'm talking crazy to him. And I'm like, no, like, why the fuck you won't take me with you? Like, what's wrong with you? You normally take me home. Like, I don't ever have to fight with you to take me home any other time. But for this day, you mad about taking me home? He's like, because I'm going to take her home. And the girl was standing off to the side. And she wasn't saying that. She was just standing off to the side. And she seen us arguing. Now, this girl, I don't know this girl. I never seen her before. I never knew he talked to her or anything like that. I didn't even know he like entertained the idea of this hoe. So I'm like, you finna take her home? Who the fuck is this hoe? So, and I, like I said, I ain't had no chill. So I'm calling the girl a hoe and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck you taking this hoe home for? Why are you not taking me this, then the other? I said, I know what type of shit you want. I know you want some bullshit. Cause if you wasn't, you would take me with you. So he was just like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm just going to take her home. I said, okay, so if you're going to take her home, you're going to take me with you. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. I'm going with you. So he was just like, whatever, whatever. So he clocks out, right? 
he starts walking and a girl starts walking behind him. And I'm like, oh no, you, so, cause I was talking, so I'm off talking to the side, waiting on him. So he thought he was going to sneak off and like go and like that motherfucker, like you big as fuck. I can see you. You're not a ghost. I see you walking across the parking lot. So I walk in there and I'm like, what the fuck? Where is you going? That's what I'm telling him. Where you going? Like, what the fuck is you on? Where you going? So he's like, I'm finna, t I'm finna go off and take her home. If you come and come, that's what he told me. Basically, like, come on. So I'm like, all right. I'm, my friend was like, if you need me, bitch, call me. Cause we had, that was back in the day. Like everybody ain't had no cell phones. I be telling y'all this. This was back when he ain't even had no fucking cell phone. I had a cell phone on. My friend had a cell phone. She was like, hit me if you need me. Cause she was about all that type of action. She used to do all type of shit. She was like my little chihuahua. She be ready to fight. <laughs> so we, uh, walking, right? This is where the shit just go, the disrespect. And I was stupid. I'm telling y'all, dumb as fuck. Like, Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Think Are she's you? Dumb. If you young and you fucking with a man that don't respect you, like, do not respect you. You don't even got to be young. You could be my age. You could be older than me. You could be younger than me. You could be a few years younger than me. Period. Anyway, if a nigga don't respect you, a man, whatever, y'all know what I'm saying. If he don't respect you, fuck, leave his ass the fuck where he, where you found his ass, where you found him. Go take his ass back. Return the sender. Send that motherfucker back. Do whatever you got to do. Send his ass the fuck back because they want respect, but they don't want to give it to you. And that's the crazy thing. Like, if I did any of that shit that he was doing to me, do you think... I just want y'all to tell me. Do you think the nigga would have stayed? Hell, I'm going to ask... No. Hell no. No. Men will dip quick. No explanation. And some will give you an explanation. Some will sit down and be generous enough to tell your ass why the fuck they ain't fucking with you no more. But it's a slim few... They don't give a goddamn, they dip and they don't give a fuck. You ain't get no, they ain't calling your ass, they blocking you, they ghosting you, they doing whatever they gonna do anyway. I'm going off on a little tangent because I'm starting to get, the shit starting to make me mad. But anyway, disrespect. We get to the motherfucking car, right? And who the fuck you, now listen. He had one of those, those, um, those front seats that was like a, that was like, that wasn't seated like a separate seat. It was like a bed seat, like a long, like a, uh, a bench. He had the front and then the back was like that, both. Okay. Normally, I'm the girlfriend. You need to get your ass in the back. The fuck is you trying to sit in the front for? So this hoe goes to the front. I'm like, no, 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 sister, no, 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 ma'am, no, no. You got to sit in the back. And she look at him like, I got to sit in the back. I say, I don't know what you're looking at him for. Like this bitch don't. Know. I will slap the fire out your ass. You got to sit in the back. So he was just like, she can sit in the front and you can sit in the front. I said, no. Why would we do that? Why? So she was. So he was like, just get in the car. So, do, what you think she did? This hoe hopped in the middle of us. She sat next to him. I sat on the end. And I was, it took every, it took, I'm telling y'all, it took the act of the God, of God. I was going to say the God. It took the act of God to come down because I was going to cold snock this hoe in the motherfucking next week. What? I was like, if she even breathed, wrong i'm gonna slap this bitch why this i don't give we gonna be in this but he gonna crash this motherfucker because i'm gonna slap this hoe but she had some sense to her she knew this motherfucker crazy me that i'm crazy she knew that i was fucking crazy because i was talking crazy it's like what the fuck is you on i'm talking stupid to his ass i'm like you stupid cheating ass dumb oh i was going off on his ass i was going reckless reckless i my shit was loaded and I was unleashing. And I didn't give a fuck. She could smell. I, I know I spit. That's how close we was. I know my spit hit that hole. He's somewhere on her body, her face, somewhere. Because I was going the fuck off. She felt every part of my hot breath. I'm going to rock your world in this month. So rock it. And I didn't give a fuck. Because I, I said, if she say something wrong, if she swing, if she do anything in this car, it's up in this bitch. I didn't give a fuck, y'all. 
I was real young and dumb. Cause if I was the age, nobody ain't gonna do me like that. No. Nah. At, not even at the age of twenties, I ain't, ain't even have. I'm not fucking with you no more. Like if you gonna say you go be with that hoe, that's what that's the type of time I'm on. You go be with her. You go be with that. That's where you want to be at. That's the that's the type of shit you want. Well, tell that hoe suck the skin off your ass because that's what you was trying to do. But anyway, let's get into the rest of this shit. So how I knew he was gonna get hair from this bitch is because we go drop the bitch off, right? We go drop the bitch off at the house at her house. And I get out the car and she get out and she talking about, I'm going to see you later. I said, you'll see him never, bitch. I was just like, you will never see him. That That's a, that's a dumb. That's done. That ain't happening. You hang that shit the fuck up. And she just was looking at me. See, this girl knew this bitch crazy. I'm not even going to see. She has sense because if that was me and I was a little timid and I thought I was going to be bold enough and this motherfucker going to take her. He ain't going to take her for you. He going to let me whoop your ass because he already know what type of time I'm on. He know I, I fight hoes. At that time, I used to fight bitches over him, and I used to do it a lot. And I, I had to, yeah, it's time to grow up and stop being a crazy motherfucker. You're going to end up in jail. So, she ain't say nothing. She just looked and kept walking. So, then I get in the car, and we, and I get to talking crazy to him, and he's yelling at me. And he's like, yeah, the only thing I was going to do was get some hair from her. I said, oh, you was going to get some hair from her. He was like, yes, and you fucked that up. And now I probably can't get shit because she, she didn't know you had a girlfriend. He's like, she did know, but she didn't know my girlfriend was you. I said, okay, well, now she know that I'm your girlfriend and you could just hang that shit up. You want some hair from this, this stupid ass bitch. I said, what's wrong like i i really didn't understand like and i used to always question like what is wrong with you why why would you go out your way to cheat and do all this stuff and be in a relationship if if you really don't want to be in one you really want to be out here and you want to be for the streets you want to be for everybody she belongs to the streets you want to be the the community dick to the to everybody at the job and in the neighborhood well if that's what you want to be be single why the fuck is you fucking with me that's that's I used to always tell him, why the fuck do you fuck with me if you want to just go cheat? You want to be with everybody. Why do you continue to do this? Like, so we in the car and we arguing, we arguing. And I told him, take me the fuck home. And he just was like, you know what? I ain't finna do this with you. I ain't, we ain't gonna do this. Like, he used to break up with me just to cheat. He used to break up with me just to cheat, y'all. Just to fucking cheat. And my dumb ass would take his dumb ass back. Like, medically speaking. Are you like, are you, I think she's dumb. I knew what he was doing and I'd be like, it'd be like weeks. And I think it was because he was the first person I ever had really like fell in love with. So, and I was real young and I was naive to relationships and situations and stuff like that. So I feel like that's what he was able to manipulate me to believe that it was going to be different and this than the other. And I kept believing it and I would give him chance after chance, but he we was arguing and fighting and like we was pushing each other in the car and i had to tell him like he would like try to like make me feel bad because of what i what i caught him doing and we never like was ever like ever like physical where we punched each other or slapped each other anything it would be like a little push here and there like i would push him like what the fuck is wrong with you, you know how you just push somebody and then he would just be like screaming and cussing at me and talking crazy to me back and calling me, telling me uh, I fucked up whatever he got going on. And I'm like, if I fucked up what you got going on, well, then you need to be single. So we would have that kind of like back and forth shit. I told him I was going to slap the fuck out this bitch if I ever catch her with you. I'm like, if this bitch, if I ever catch you with this bitch, I said, I'm going to fuck her up. And I'm going to fuck your ass up. And I know I can't fuck him up. Because this, this I can't fuck him up. I, I, I knew. But I would still talk that shit though. <laughs> but I was like, I'm going to slap the fuck out this bitch. And I want this hoe to swing. So we, I'm going to beat this bitch up. But I, after that day, I ain't never see that girl again. I think she was like, this bitch is crazy. And you crazy. And I ain't fucking with y'all. Toxic ass relationship y'all got going on. I'm going to leave that shit alone. But anyway, I ain't never see her again. But that ain't where it ended because it was another bitch right after and another bitch right after that and another bitch after that. It was bitches, bitches coming out of like just falling out the motherfucking sky like bitches was everywhere. So this shit ain't never end until 
and he moved the fuck out the state out the state when he moved away it just continued out of the state he started doing the shit out there so just i made this video just to tell y'all don't be dumb out here that was the dumbest shit i ever could have just let somebody do to me i should have just fucking left his ass like i said where the fuck i found his ass at and not fuck with him no more and left that shit the fuck alone i've done it to several other guys if i catch them lying or doing anything else but it was just something about this particular person that had a hold on me where i couldn't cut that motherfucker off as much as i would try i would do all kind of shit to just not fuck with him and it just i would just fall back into the bullshit it's like stabbing yourself slowly it's like you falling on the fucking knife i always say that shit Anytime I feel like somebody do something to me and they consistently doing it to me and I'm and I it's like psych like what is it called? Mental torment to yourself. Like you're just tormenting yourself, self-inflicting yourself. You falling on a knife, knowing that the shit is the way it is, and it and it's probably gonna continue to be the way it is until the person that you with changes. If the person is not willing to change or willing to do what they supposed to do for the relationship and make the shit right, it's gonna continue to be fucked up. And that's what I always say all the time. I'll be like, I fall on the knife. I've been saying that shit for years because it's true. If I'm continuing to go through the same shit, it's my fault. Yes. You do me wrong and I took you back. But after the second time, it's my fault. From the second point on, if I continue to go down the road with your ass with the same old shit, it's my fault because I'm doing it to myself. But anyway, I ain't finna go into that. I just wanted to tell y'all this story. This motherfucker was upset because I stopped this motherfucker from getting hair from this bitch. He ain't getting no hair from me. Show didn't. Show the fuck didn't. You sticking, you got community dick. You sticking it in everybody. Tell him, like, I I used to get mad at him. Be like, tell them bitches to suck your dick. Tell them hoes to do this. Tell them hoes to do that. Tell them bitches to buy you food. Tell them bitches to do this for you. Tell, oh, you calling because you sick? Tell them hoes to take care of you. Shit. You want to be cheating and doing all this shit. Sometimes guys don't realize that they got a good-ass woman. And I was a little kid. I ain't know about no being no good-ass woman. I had the idea of a good woman. I had the thought of being a good, but I didn't know the work it takes to be a great woman because I'm a great fucking woman. And any man that is in my life, he will feel the greatness that I exude because I'm, I'm, I'm that. And I don't never, I know what the fuck I am. I know what I bring to the table. I know I bring the table, you bring the chairs. And we gonna build this motherfucker up. That's the type of shit I'm on. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching this little story time in the car type shit. And if you're shaking and shit, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm yelling and shit because the motherfucker got me high. But I'm about to drink this water, and uh, and my baby should be walking up soon. She should be. Uh, she should be. God dang, it's hot and shit. I'm ready to go. But anyway. <laughs> i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for liking comment subscribing supporting the channel the growth i love you guys so much i'll see you guys on my next upload until then bye bye